Uh, what's up guys? So, today I'm going to be showing you, um, how to fly a spaceship in Space Engine, because not a lot of people know how to do it when they start out, and, you know, it's hard. Um, so, what you want to do is, you want to load up, uh, your game. Uh, you might st spawn on a random planet, but, um, you can press F3, and then you can search up an object, you know? Um... So, what you can do is you can go, so, go to Earth, um, then you, you don't need to go to the Earth, but, uh, I start here, um, you can spawn in a spacecraft by clicking at the side bar right here, spacecraft manager. So you click that, um, then what you do, you should have no ships in here. Um, so how do you get a ship? What you want to do is you want to click build, and then you want to click, um, you can do real, uh, shields, and, yeah, you get it. Um, and then space engine, too. I like to do space engine. Um, and then you have all these different, um, categories. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to do the AMS Corp. SS cargo all right so then what you want to do when you click your the ship that you want then you click build and that ship will spawn all right um so then you can exit the spacecraft manager and you may be wondering how do you control it what how do you do this what the heck what is wrong Wait, um but you may be wondering how do you control the ship like like how do you do this so then what you want to do is you want to go back to the spacecraft manager and then you click on your ship right here and you click take control that will get you to take control of the ship and now you have your ship you can use right click to move your camera around so then what you want to do is you can use a left click to aim your ship and all right so at the bottom here we've got like a whole lot of controls so this one right here that'll center on your ship so say you look like this like you can't you can't control it, your ship like that so what you want to do is you want to click center on ship that'll center it back um this one right here View shift trajectory. I'm just showing you the important ones. You can see the trajectory which you're going. So right now I'm going straight towards Earth. Okay? So then what you can do here. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this music off. Turn the music down. There we go. Anyways, what you wanna do, and then this one, this this isn't very um these two right here are for docking. I will make a more detailed tutorial on that once i get there but what you want to do um is then this one is the kill rotation it's it's really important oh to get out of ship trajectory you just center it on your ship again to kill uh the kill rotation is actually important although when you're turning it can get annoying because when you're clicking and holding you're turning it'll stop you um, if I say if I, if I have that off, it will just keep me drifting. So the next control is the sink velocity. This will sink you to the planet you are to your target up here. Um, it'll sink you to Earth. Um, right now, if I click sink velocity, ship will start doing its stuff, and it'll sink me to Earth. And now I'm at Earth's velocity. Um, flight assist, I haven't used that yet. Rotate to target, I don't use that. Um, go to, that's mainly used for docking. Hyper jump, okay, this one is a really important one. And I'm actually going to give you an example of me doing it. On how to use it. So, um, what you can do is hyper jump. You can't. What the hell is the. Oh! I see. 
whatever. But what you can do is you can pretty much warp to a planet that you want. So you click, um, you have to search for a planet. Uh, so let's say Venus. Let's go to Venus. Um, now, what you do is you target to Venus. Right now it doesn't say target is Venus, but when you click warp and then you click hyper jump, your target will switch to Venus. Okay, so now up here is our boost factor. We will be getting to pretty much the same velocity as Venus. So now we're gone. We have to wait for a second. Usually I accelerate time just a little bit, but never accelerate time too much when you're doing this. Cause that can get really, really annoying. All right, and then now we're hyper jumping. So once you start to see the planet, you want to stop hyper jumping a little more early than you would usually. It's like right here. Because this um, will keep you from crashing into the planet. Um, this will also set you on a course to, as you can see, it'll set you on the court on a course to capture in the on the planet. So now I can. So I like time a, time a little bit. Oh shoot, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, click sync velocity. And then you should be at the planetary, at the planet's speed. Uh, so, oh, and then these buttons will bring you prograde, retrograde. Um, it'll, it kind of shows you where um, they are. I have no clue what this button is, but this one's for orbiting. This one, prograde, that'll point you forward, backwards, uh, right, left. I uh, haven't seen these ones yet. This will point, point you towards the horizon. It'll point you at the horizon. Anyways, now I've synced velocity with Venus. So now I'm on a crash course for it. Uh, I will explain how to orbit a planet in another video, but otherwise I will see you guys next time. Bye.